currently we're in a we are in a very big drought um, that's been going on for years where we've seen limited amounts of rainfall over the periods of years compared to what we've been used to which we know in northeastern New Mexico is a small amount of water anyway the drought has really affected the community um, in lots of various ways um, one of the main ways is that it, it um, limits the amount of water that is available to plants and I live in a ranching community where we rely on plant growth and grass growth in the summer and the fall to be able to support our main industry which is beef cattle ranching. It also um, affects the wildlife population um, because when there is limited amounts of grass for beef cattle there's also limited amounts of grass for wildlife. It affects um, the hay production that we do have which is very limited in this area but um, along the rivers and in the basins um, there's some people that that irrigate with runoff water and without any rain then there's limited runoff water and it also affects um, our natural resources in lots of different ways so there's more there's more likely to be erosion there's more likely to be um, like riparian effects on um, riparian areas where there would be fish habitat um, and more likely for um, everything to to suffer Farming and ranching have been in New Mexico for nearly 2,500 years. The 2014 Agricultural Census reported 24,721 farms and ranches in New Mexico. All of the land used for farms and ranches account for 43 million acres of land, or 33.5% of all land in New Mexico. We are the third largest dairy state in the nation and produce lots of milk and cheese. We have the pecan furniture, we produce a ton of onions, a lot of people don't know that. Um, green chili, um, pistachio, uh, lettuce, carrots, um, all different types of crops that you get further south. So water, water is the lifeline of New Mexico. Without water, um, our world doesn't really go around. Um, if you've never lived in the Southwest before, you probably don't understand the importance of water, but never do we take it for granted. Landscape architecture is all about creating spaces for people to be in and we want to do those designs in a way that is smart. And if you don't amend your soil before you landscape, the water hits the clay and then just runs off and doesn't get to the, the plant roots. So, you know, a lot of the work, the, the more work you can do underground to get really good soil prep, the, the more effective your watering is going to be. You can also, um, if you're using bluegrass, bluegrass can go dormant without water in the summer. So if, if you were in a place that has water restrictions and you had a bluegrass lawn, you can actually stop watering that. It will go brown, but it won't die. And really what you're doing is you're trying to design a landscape that um, works for the people that are going to use it, but is, is uh, works well and conserves water and, and doesn't overuse the resource that we have. Water is one of the most important resources. Without it, we could not have the necessary elements for life. It really is New Mexico's lifeline.